Yo, what's up, guys? It's Nikki Six here, dude. It's one twenty-four in the fucking morning. I don't know what's going down. Um, I'm upset. I gotta tell y'all, this gay suicide shit that's going down is pissing me off. It's making me hurt. See, what I've learned so far is this. Check this out. Anger is a secondary emotion of fear and sadness, right? So, I am afraid for my friends, and I am sad for the people who lost their lives due to hatred and ignorance. Okay, let me tell you something. Being beat up for being gay is not fun. And when people tell me that it's a choice, let me tell you something. You think I choose to be straight after get my ass handed to me a few times? It's painful. I remember when I came out to my mom, right? My mom and dad are the most accepting people alive, and I love it. I love it. I'm blessed. You know, I remember coming out to my mom as I was saying, and, you know, she said, you know, she started crying, and she said to me, I said, Mom, why are you crying? She says, because of the things that you will have to go through. I didn't know what she meant at the time, but what happened was, is I found out that you can get your ass beat for being gay. You can't have shit written on your dorm room. Your dorm door saying, die fag. This has happened to me already this, this year at college. I'm 19 years old, August 14th, 1991, born in San Diego. I got beat up for being gay in San Francisco, Santa Rosa, California, San Bernardino. Let me tell you something. It's not a safe world out there, but I'll tell you one thing. I put on a October 20th jam here at school. We passed out purple shirts. We did signing up for purple shirts, standing up against bullying, not only towards gays, but towards everybody. Period. That's what people don't understand, is that yes, there were some gay suicides. Yes, that's fucked up. Totally agree. Totally agree. But I'll tell you one thing. Bullying towards anybody is wrong. Acceptance is key. Tolerance is first place. Let me tell you something. There's a difference between acceptance... Intolerance. Right now, we're kind of like in the tolerance level in some parts of our country. And our tolerance level is dwindling because we're starting to become more accepting. I live here in Bend, Oregon, um, and uh, it's pretty. Would you call it liberal? Mm -mm. It's not very liberal. I mean, I grew up in Washington, D.C., DuPont Circle, Jersey City, New York. I mean, come on, East Side. But. It's really hard. A lot of people disagree with me when I talk about this, but let me tell you something right now. Chris Crocker, I give a shout out to you for being you. Perez Hilton, I give a shout out to you for being you. Give a shout out to my best friend who committed suicide last year for being a transsexual, transgender too. I give a shout out to any out people and I give a shout out to the people who are trying to come out but can't in this country. I'm out. I have my right ear pierced. I have a rainbow tattooed on the back of my leg. And I'm proud. I wear that like a badge. Why? <laughs> because it's, a, it's who I am, man. It's who I am. And honestly, I believe that if we can protect each other, if you could just pull a friend aside and tell him the harder the truth, the harder the truth to tell the truth, the friend who tells it. If I pull my friend over who's bullying somebody for being um, purple, blue, pink, gay, bi, straight, whatever, whatever he's being bullied for, if I could pull that friend over and be like, dude, that's not cool. You can't do that, especially not around me. Sensitive subject. That's the heart of the truth, and that's the truth that you got to tell the people. I learned that that is the key thing. So, anyway, this is my video. I know a lot of people probably won't watch until I make more, but I'm just doing a little rant. Feel free to comment. Feel free to hate. I'm totally down for some haters. Love them. Make me smile. Also, I'm totally down for some props. Check out my Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Jersey Nikki. Jersey Nikki. Peace.